Now we are going to demonstrate how to make a dual boot or a partition. What is a partition? A partition is, is to, uh, to b make believe the machine is uh, taking a lot of space in one disk, in a physical disk. Okay, uh, we are going to start. Ah, no, this in English. Uh, control panel. Control panel. And we are now in the control panel. Now we have to uh, access to our the how many partitions are in our computer. So we get into administrative tools and then uh, management uh, equipment. And then we need to select where is our a hard drive, hard disk. Okay, so here are our four partitions that Windows make to our computer. The first, the first one is the C one, that is the one that is basic in in all the Windows. The second one is a recovery. If, if uh, our computer gets damaged, this recovery can re reinstall Windows Seven. And the system that is the uh, it's usually a hundred megabytes that it's the one that correct our system. And what we have one hundred and three megabytes that is not assigned. So we have we have to do now is to shrink our C disk to make a, a free space. Before we do a shrink to our main system, with where our main hard drive, we need to defragmentate our disk to not create a ghost fa a art documents that make interference in another operative system. Okay, now we we have shrinked shrinked our a uh, hard disk, and now we have 97 gigabytes that aren't assigned. So we ha now we have to assign a new volume. We have to this assistance of our new volume. We assign how many how many megabytes our new volume is. We are going to make this for Linux 20 gigabytes. We have assigning 20 gigabytes for our new partition for Linux. So we have next. Now we need to assign a, a letter, a letter. It doesn't matter what which we can uh, choose any. We are going to choose F. Okay, we are going to make a new volume to make to make how many space on our hard drive is going to be. This is this this new this new uh, partition is going to uh, keep all of our keep all of our uh, data on all stuff, music, uh, videos, and all that. We assign a letter. It doesn't matter how what letter we choose. It doesn't matter really. Now here we have to uh, formatting to NTFS. Here we can get a label on our new partition. We're going to call this data data now here yes yeah, a quick quick formatting and next this is going to display a resume of all of our new partitioned disk okay okay we are, I have um, we are going now this our our computer is going to recognize our new disk. We don't mind right now. And now this free space, we are going to use it to install Windows. We have rebooted the, the computer and we insert the live CD of Ubuntu. And now it's down is downloading to access to install Ubuntu. Okay, now we are in the in Ubuntu and we have to put in Sal Ubuntu. This this is the idiom we choose English. Language. Okay.
Okay, who is going to recognize how many space the computer needs and all the power source? We need to do the forward. Okay, now we are ha we are in the part that we need to make specify our partitions. We have to put it in manually, and then forward. Then Linux is going to recognize how many partitions th those our uh, disk have. Here we are going to install um, Linux in the in the part where it says free space. We're going to add. Okay, now we have in our free space we have 30 years of free space. Uh, it doesn't matter where we locate our partition. Okay, we choose X4 because it's one of the best file system um, to keep safe our all of our data. Uh, okay, we have signed 28 gigas to our root that needs Linux, and then okay. Now here is scanning all of the disk and is creating the new partition. Okay, now that we create our root partitions of 28 gigas in the free space, we are going to create swap area. The swap area is the area of exchange the boot of the computer to a Linux and to repeat the process. It's like the RAM that it needs. Now we choose to sell now. After all our steps, this is the process where Ubuntu is being installed. Time. Installation complete, time to restart it. Now we are in the boot and we can choose uh, Ubuntu or Windows and we can choose recovery of Windows or Ubuntu. In this case we, we choose Ubuntu. And here we are in Ubuntu, we have, we can see all of our documents, computer, this is our data, data is that we create, here we can see the documents that, that we can save in Windows, and that's all. We did, we finished our project, thanks for watching.